We've got a news alert out of Washington. Let's get to Elon Moy for that. Elon. Melissa, a group of 10 senators, both Democrats and Republicans, say that they have reached a bipartisan agreement on a framework for an infrastructure plan. Now, they don't say exactly how large this plan would be, but they do say that it would be fully paid for and that it would not include any tax increases. This group of five Republicans and five Democrats say that they are still discussing this plan with their colleagues as well as with the White House, that they do feel that this could lay the groundwork to garner broad support from both parties as well as meet America's infrastructure needs. Of course, this agreement comes after those direct negotiations between President Biden and Republican Senator Shelley Moore Capito broke down earlier this week. Now we're seeing this new bipartisan infrastructure proposal. We will see if this gets further traction, both on Capitol Hill and with the White House. Melissa. Elon, thank you. Elon Moy, Tim Seymour, we were just talking yesterday about how the breakdown in infrastructure talks was supportive to the bond market. So in the context of the conversation we were just having, <laughs> this could mean that yields could actually be going higher. It could. Um, and it could mean that also some of the materials trades that I think have, have also been under some pressure because at some sense that some of the follow through from infrastructure wasn't going to be there. So, um, yeah, I, look, I, I think the market is... is uh, done a decent job of actually figuring out what fair value is from stimulus and, and from infrastructure plans and actually, uh, you know, that, that some of this was, was part of rotation into these stocks in the first place. Uh, in terms of where the bond market could be overdone to the downside, look, I think we're going to find that, but I, I think the trade still is a bit lower in yields over the next couple of days, uh, unless Washington does an amazing reversal here. Um, I, I think either way, bonds are pricing in uh, a sense that we overshot on inflation. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.